Hello everyone and welcome to another gaming build video. Today we will look to put our Skylake gaming PC that will be able to handle most games at 1080p medium to high settings under $500 and compete well with the next gen consoles. If you are new into PC gaming or building a gaming PC for the first time then this should be a great build for you. You will have the latest Skylake processor, a decent GPU, motherboard and a lot of headroom for future upgrades. Also it's not too costly and will compete well with the next gen consoles. With that being said let's get started. Let's start with the CPU. For CPU we are going to use the 6th gen Intel Skylake Core i3-6300. It's clocked to 3.8 GHz and will cost $150. I know a 4th generation processor would be cheaper than this but that's not the point of making this video. A Skylake Core i3 clocked to 3.8 GHz will handle most of the games at good settings at 1080p combined with a decent GPU. Now let's move on to the motherboard. For motherboard we are going to use the Gigabyte GA G1 Sniper B7 motherboard. It will cost you $100. For 100 bucks this is a great motherboard from Gigabyte. It has 4 memory slots supporting up to 64 GB DDR4 memory, 2 way crossfire and a lot of features related to gaming. You have access to 1 HDMI port, 2 PCI Express 3.0 slot, 1 M.2 port and 6 USB 3.0 ports. So the motherboard has everything you need in a gaming build. For memory we are going to use a single Kingston HyperX Fury Black 8GB memory. It's quite cheap and will cost you $36. You have the option to add 3 more RAM in the future but 8GB will last more than a while. For hard drive I had to cheap out and get a fast 7200rpm hard drive instead of a 1TB hard drive due to spending more on getting the latest Skylake CPU and motherboard. So for hard drive we have the Seagate 500GB 7200 RPM hard drive. It will cost you $39. Hard drives are really cheap these days and you can get a better one by spending a few more bucks. Now it's time for the GPU. For a GPU I went with the EVGA GTX 950 2GB video card. It will cost you $139. For $139 you have a great video card for 1080p gaming. With the GTX 950 you can play most games at 1080p medium settings at 60fps. Also you can play almost every game at high settings with well over 40 FPS. This is one hell of a GPU for gaming builds around this budget. You will beat most games of next gen consoles with the GTX 950 in performance and graphics. For power supply we have the EVGA 400 watts power supply. GTX 950 doesn't require much power and EVGA 400 watts power supply will be more than enough to keep it running. It will cost you $19. For casing I went with the NGX TS210 Mitra Black ATX case. It will cost you $35. You don't expect anything fancy from a $35 case but the NGX TS210 is a great case for its price. It has decent airflow and build quality. For current pricing like always you'll find all the parts linked in the description. For under $500 you have a great gaming PC that will be able to handle latest games at 1080p high settings without a problem at decent FPS. Of course you will not be hitting 60 FPS at high settings with all the games but we don't expect that from a gaming PC under $500. Also with the latest processor and motherboard you have a lot of headroom for future upgrades. I will be making a few more gaming builds in the near future so if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments below. Also if you want to support the channel then make sure to use and bookmark the Amazon referral link in the description. It keeps the videos going and costs you nothing extra. If you found the video helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to help me cultivate a better PC gaming community. I'm Absticky and see you later.